Hey guys, welcome to Travel Feels. Today we're gonna talk music. That was my last travel film that I made from our trip to Hawaii. I turned 30 and we just wanted a getaway beach vacation so we went to one of our favorite places in the world, Maui. And for my films in general, I take a lot of time in looking for the perfect songs, but especially for travel films. For that Maui film alone, I spent hours looking for that perfect song that just fit the footage and what we experienced in Maui and also just the mood and feelings that I wanted to express through the film. Just imagine if I would have used a song like this. Or like this. There's no right or wrong answers here necessarily, but there's definitely songs that'll fit your film much better and also just be more enjoyable for your audience. Music is crazy important for your travel films and it can really make it or break it a lot of times. Good music can make your film 10 times better, but bad music can also make it 10 times worse. Your visuals might be amazing, but if the song doesn't fit the visuals, then people usually tune out really quickly. So take your time, be patient, and find that perfect song for your film. And a lot of you are asking questions about music. Um, where I'm finding my music, what kind of music should you use? And today we're gonna answer some of those questions. So first, let's lay down some ground rules. You cannot use any songs that you do not have either permission to use or a song that you don't have a license to use in your film, period. There's no exceptions to this and I know it sucks to hear, but you cannot use just any song that you've heard or found online. You have to have permission or a license. So right off the bat, anything that you've heard on the radio or any big mainstream artist, you're probably never gonna use in a YouTube video. These kinds of songs cost thousands and thousands of dollars to license. So unless your YouTube video has a budget of $100,000 and you wanna use most of that on a song license, you're never gonna use top 40 kind of music for your films. And I know that sucks, but the sooner you get over that and start finding good legal ways to get songs for your films, you won't even think twice about it. And of course, you can take a song from the internet and put it in your video and upload it online onto YouTube or wherever, but there's gonna be consequences. So for example, you won't be able to monetize that video. Um, you probably won't be able to play it on a mobile device. You might get a copyright strike against your channel and eventually your channel could even be shut down. And worst case scenario, you get sued. Now it's not really likely that you're gonna get sued unless you're making a ton of money off that video but there's definitely gonna be consequences to using songs that you don't have a license or permission to use. So what can we do? We're gonna look at five legal ways to get music for your films. And the last one is my favorite right now. Number one, you can make your own music. If you're a musician or you just know how to make music, you can always make your own music for your films. But this is really time consuming and if you're like me and have no idea how to make music, it's not really an ideal way to go. And unless you're an amazing artist, the quality might not quite be where you want it to be and therefore your film will suffer. So this one's no good for me. Number two, you can ask a band that you know if you can use their music. I've done this a few times, usually on personal projects. And with smaller bands, usually they're totally fine with it. Especially if you have a bit of an audience, then that means they're just gonna get exposure from it. But expect a lot of no's and no replies, that's just gonna happen. But this can be a really good way to get good quality music for free or really cheap. 
but it is a really time consuming way of doing things and there's no guarantees. The third way is finding free music online. There's a lot of different websites that offer free music for videos. Even YouTube has songs that you can use for free and even monetize. When you're starting out, this is a really great way to get music for your films. The downside is that I find that a lot of free music isn't the best in quality. So again, your film might suffer because the music isn't the best. Also make sure you find out in what ways you can use that music. Sometimes you're allowed to use music for free on personal projects, but not for projects that you're being paid for. So just make sure you have permission for that specific project. Number four is licensing a song for your film. There's a lot of good sites that you can license individual songs for a specific project. Two of my favorite sites are musicbed.com and marmosetmusic.com. Personally, I think Musicbed has the highest quality music that you can license for your films. No other site has as many good artists as musicbed.com. The downside to that is it's really pricey. For example, the song I used in the Maui video was licensed through musicbed.com and just that one license cost me over $200 American, just for that one video. So high quality and high price. Now there are some cheaper sites also, but their quality isn't quite as good. So I don't use those sites as often. I would say I use Musicbed 95% of the time if I'm licensing an individual song for a film. But for YouTube, this doesn't really make sense. Unless you're a really big channel, you just don't have the budgets to put hundreds of dollars into the song license on every video. Number five, which is my favorite right now, is using a subscription-based music licensing platform. This means that you're paying either a monthly or yearly subscription to use their music. And for almost all my YouTube videos right now, I'm using a website called Artlist. They have really good quality music for really cheap. All you have to do is pay $200 and you get unlimited use of their music. That means you can use as many songs as you want for any projects you want. There's no restrictions for what kind of projects and how many songs you're using from the site, which I love. It's perfect for YouTube. And the awesome part about this website is you can download a song and use it for a project. And then four years later, you can use that same song even if you don't have a subscription for another film. So that's a pretty good deal. And some of you might be thinking, well, $200 is so much money. But if you're making films on a regular basis, like for YouTube, it only ends up being a couple dollars per film. Artlist has tons of different artists and it's really easy to navigate and find different songs depending on the mood that you're going for or what instruments you want or the type of music. I highly recommend this site. And I'm not getting paid to say any of this, but I did apply for their affiliate program just because I believe in their product. And in the future also, I want you guys to be able to trust that if I make a recommendation for a product or a company, um, I really mean it. I don't ever wanna be promoting crappy products just to make money. So number five is great music for a relatively low price. So when should you use what? I think when you're starting out, try and find the cheapest ways to get good quality music. So if you know a band that makes great music, try and get some of their music that you can use for your films. If that's not an option, you can always find the free music. So for me, I'm always using either Musicbed or Artlist. And typically, if the client has a budget for a song license, I'm using Musicbed. And that's because they have a budget for it, it's not coming out of my own pocket. But if the client doesn't have a budget for a song license, then I'm usually using Artlist and that'll just save you a ton of money on production costs. So that's it. That's my secrets for my music. Um, I highly recommend checking out Artlist. I'll link it down below and also Musicbed for any bigger projects that you have a budget for a song license. That's it for today. I hope you learned something. Enjoy the filmmaking process and get out there, go travel and make some amazing memories. Yeah.